Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great Monday. And thank you guys so much for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today in the channel we're looking at the final two deluxe figures of the Origins line so that we've gotten so far. Uh, today we'll be looking at Dragon Blaster Skeletor and Thunder Punch He-Man. Okay, we'll take a look at them in the packaging. Uh, we'll take a look at all their accessories and items and weapons they come with. And of course the amazing artwork they come with. Uh, we'll be looking at the comic that comes with both of them, and we're looking, we'll look at the Vintage ones as well from the 80s, stuff like that, guys. So we'll be, hopefully it'll be a lot of fun, guys. Alright, so here we go. With Dragon Blaster Skeletor right there. You got the Master Universe logo right there. Dragon Blaster Skeletor, the evil leader and his dreadful dragon. Nice glamour shot of the figure right there. There's the figure himself right there. Now for me, these are these are my you know my you know absolute so far my absolute best deluxe figures in the collection for me personally. I guess I, I guess I saved the best for last right here. He comes with a chain and his vintage like uh, lock, the full power sword for him, his little buddy, his dragon right there, and like like Thunder Punch, and this dragon they've kept that vintage eighties action. Call out where the dragon does spray out water if you wish. You can fill it up with water and spray out water, which is amazing. All right. Of course, you have the snake logo right there. Mash Universe right there. Absolutely amazing. You can see the dragon scales right there, or the snake scales on the bubble right there. All right, put that back around. It's absolutely amazing artwork right there. And you see good old Dragon uh, Thunder Punchy Man right there. Too bad. His action call out. Very easy to fill up water in the dragon right there. And you press down to have a nice stream of water you come out right there. Very nice. And of course, the cross sell the other figures in this wave. And I've done reviews. For every single one of them on the channel, guys, if you'd like to go back and take a look. All right. And I have done review on Dragon Blast before, guys. Um, I, I'm just, you know, you know, we're, we're just here. I'm just here with you guys, just kicking back, you know, hanging out, you know, waiting for the new figure to come out, the new playset, the new vehicle, you know. And, the, and these deluxe, you know, reviews, you know, have been a lot of fun, guys. You know, to do a re, a re look at them. You know, a much closer look at them. And I might be doing some spotlight, um, you know, figures and stuff like that. You know, every so often, you know, throughout the weeks, so I might just pick a random, normal figure and just take a look at them, a much more closer look at them. You know, on the Origins line and Masterverse line as well. There we go. Back around. Of course, the comedy he comes with. It's the same with Snake Face, okay, which is the Viper's Vice right there. As you can see, there's Dragon Blaster right there with Stinkor and Beast Man. You got Fangor right here. And, like, well, and some Snake Men right there. Snake Face. Nice shot right there. Very, very cool. Lady Slither, and you got some um, of the uh, Snake Armored Troopers right there. This Cosmic He-Man here that I hope maybe we'll get one day, and, and you know, in a Mattel Creations exclusive. And the cross cell of the other figures right here. All right. And of course, this is what Dragon Blaster looked like back in. 1985, right here, thanks to Pixel Dan and Dark Horse Comics, right here. All right, very cool. And I do have loose versions of both these figures and origins. And here is my Dragon Blaster, right here, Skeletor. It would have been nice to get an extra head sculpt, but you know, I, I do like the kind of the Bidget style head right here that he comes with. Of 
Very cool. I absolutely love the fact that the Origins has captured the, the look and feel of the 80s line here. Like we've gone back in time, you know. Very cool. Of course, you just remove it. If you want to add water, which I'm not going to, fortunately, you just got to pop the head off like you, like you saw in the back of the packaging. It fill up with water and you just press down to, you know, have a little mist of water to come out. Very cool. And I like the fact that, you know, they've kept that action call out, you know, for the figure. The chain looks amazing. The hook, everything looks really good. Really good. And finally, guys, for the final deluxe figure that we've gotten in the, in the Origins line so far, and I'm sure we'll get more, like the Turtles of Grey Skull will have some deluxe figures, I believe. And maybe the cartoon filmation style as well. But for right now, this is the final deluxe figure that we've gotten in Origins right here, in this packaging, style packaging right here, which is Thunder Punch He-Man. There he is, there's a glamour shot of the figure right there. You have the Master Universe logo with the snake head coming from above it right there. With the two snakes on the sides right there. There's himself right there. He-Man himself. The Thunder Punch right there. Very cool. That same snake skin, arm, uh, you know, scales on the packaging. Which is a really nice touch. I really like the fact they did that with the bubble here. Oh, and Thunder Punch He-Man, the heroic leader with a powerful punch. Of course, there's a Thunder Punch uh, action call out right there. There's energy right there. His gold um, power sword and his very unique shield that you can place the power sword inside, right there in the front, right there. The only one thing that you know, and this is an amazing figure, and he also like like Dragon Blaster Skeletor. They have kept that that action call out. His waist is spring loaded, you know, like the '80s line. Uh, something for the most part, most of the Origins figures does not do. Um, it has that snapping, you know, uh, waist uh, action power call out. But he does. Thunder Punch does have that. But the one thing that they that he that he does not get included uh, is um, some uh, caps. And I'll show you what I mean about that. And the in his his vintage uh, figure. Flip it back around to the back. Right there, some for absolutely amazing artwork right here. Taking on some of the snake troopers right there. You can see in the right there. You see the uh, uh, half of Eternia. You know of the you know Snake Mountain or the bad guy side. His action call out where you put his energy blast on his hand right there on his fist, and he does snap in place right there. And the cross of the other figures in this wave right here. And I've done reviews for each and every one of them as well. Alright. Of course, here's the comic that he comes with right here. The Heart of the Snake right there. You see Thunder Punch with King Hiss and the Sorcerers in the background right there. Very ama beautiful, amazing artwork. A great read right there. There you go, guys. Very cool. Of course, the cross again of the other figures in this particular wave that he came with. Right here. And of course, this is what it looked like back in the 80s, in 85 as well. There he is. Now you see what I'm talking about. So in the original one, they had caps right there. Like you would put in your gun, like a, like a cap gun. And when you place it inside the backpack here, which I think would make kind of cool and nod, because unfortunately I'll show you in with the Origins figure, they don't have that. Uh, it would be kind of a nice nod, you know, at least have the, the cap inside the backpack. And I'll show you what I mean about that. 
So when you twisted his body, it would make a snapping sound. It would do like a pop, and it would like pop the cap, you know, like a cap gun, basically. Ammo caps right there, you see that? And unfortunately, with this, they did not include that. I and mean, I think that would be kind of a nice little detail they could have done to add, you know, that extra, go on that extra step with this figure. But still an amazing figure. Absolutely, you know, one of my, you know, one of my favorite He-Mans, you know, in the Origins line here is the Thunder Punch He-Man right here. And you can see he's got gold, his gold sword, the same type of shield right there. There he is the packaging right there. There's that snapping feature right there. There he is. Side to side and front to back right there. Alright. And I do have a loose version of him. And there he is. So what I, what I mean by that, if you can see, you know, inside, it would be kind of nice inside the backpack. You can see the cap gun, the cap, uh, you know, ammo cap, you know, maybe glued in the back to give you that, that extra detail on the figure. And I think that would have been a really nice touch. You see with the, you know, with the, hear the snap. I like that. I love, oh, but very cool. I like that, you know, and, and I just wish I had something like all of the origin figures had that, you know, Very cool, very cool. Of course, sword and shield right there. Nice back metal. Shiny. Nice good head sculpt right there. Very cool. Of the figure. Like the energy blast he comes with right there. Something I just noticed that the maybe they, they swapped out the cap gun with this energy blast right here with this with this um the origins because with the vintage they don't have that they don't have that that energy blast right there so this was a, a new touch so i guess they swapped it out for the energy blast but i wish they had both you know but still i love the energy blast right here so very cool oh and one more thing guys i need to I totally forgot that we're also going to have a, another uh, Master Universe Funko Pop at the end of the video. Another figure. So there you go, there you go guys. There's the Deluxe Thunder Punch E-Man. Oops, give me one second, guys. There you go. All right, guys, and the the Funko, the Funko Pop that I picked today for the Master Universe line for the collection is Cobra Khan right there with all the Rise of the Snake Men line right there. There he is in the packaging right there. The cross all the other figures that came with him. There he is. There you, go, there you go, guys. There's a look at the final two deluxe figures in the Origins Wave. Deluxe figures. This has been a fun, you know, you know, road looking at all the deluxe figures that's come out so far in Origins. And I can't wait for more. Especially with the new cartoon collection. Um, I'm very curious to see how the packaging will be like in the cartoon collection. And the Turtles of Skull. I do believe we'll be having some deluxe figures as well. All right, guys. I'd like to take the time now to thank my subscribers. If you made it this far in the video and subscribe, please subscribe, guys. I love talking with you guys. All things Masters of the Universe, like the Origins line here, like the Masters line, the CGI line. Hit that like button, guys. That thumbs up and that thank you for doing that, guys. It helps me out a lot. Uh, it gets people to take a look at my, my content and stuff like that and, and join, you know, our amazing community. Um, hit that notification bell when you know I'll upload new videos. And tomorrow, like I've done like uh, videos on the entire Sunman line, uh, the Horde 
you know, so far in Origins, starting tomorrow, we'll be looking at every single snake men from the Origins line, from King Hiss to up to Lady Slither. We'll take a look at all the snake men, only the snake men only, not the, not the entire snake men line. So no uh, snake armored He-Man or like a Serpent Claw, uh, Man at Arms, and like even snake armored Skeletor, just snake men only. Okay, like King Hiss, Cobra Khan, and and that five pack, and only snake men only. So it'll be a lot of fun. I think it'll be like a two part video, and we'll go from there, guys. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, share this video, guys, who has a passion and a love for collecting all things Masters of the Universe, like the Origins line here, like Masterverse and CGI, and Funko Pops now, and Mondo, and Super 7s, and Da Vinci's 80s and Classics, and 2000X to Super 7, I think I said that already. I mean, there's certainly now come, the upcoming Turtles line coming up very soon to New Adventures of He-Man. So guys, I hope you guys have a great Monday, and I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Take care, guys, and have a good one.